assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to discuss another important uh, frequent pattern mining method uh, which is known as fp growth algorithm or which is also known as frequent pattern growth met method used for uh, frequent pattern mining or frequent item set mining method so uh, in our previous lecture we have discussed uh the different extensions and improvements of the a priori algorithm in which we discussed three line of uh, works in the uh, extensions of a priori algorithm the first one is how we can reduce the number of passes against the transactional database for this challenge of the a priori algorithm we used the partitioning method and for the second challenge of the a priori algorithm which is uh, the large generation of the candidate item sets so using dhcp or direct hashing and pruning method we try to shrink the number of uh, you know the candidates or candidate item sets and the third one is uh we uh, introduced some special data structures in which we discussed eclat which is uh, you know equivalent class transformation so in this lecture uh, we are going to introduce uh, a new tree structure called fp tree this approach is represented by interesting algorithm called fp growth algorithm or frequent pattern growth approach so let's look at how this algorithm works the general idea is first we find the frequent single items or frequent item sets of length 1 and then we partition the database based on each such item then we recursively or iter iteratively grow frequent patterns by doing the above iteratively or recursively for each partition database which is also known as conditional database to facilitate efficient processing we use a new data structure which is called fp tree the uh, whole uh, process or whole mining process can be summarized as follows like uh, we recursively construct and mine the frequent pattern tree or conditional frequent pattern tree or until Uh, uh the resulting fp tree is empty or until it contains only uh, one path or single path which will generate all the combinations of its sub paths each of which is frequent pattern so uh in simple words fp growth jo algorithm hai usme hum log फर्स्ट स्कैन के ऊपर हम लोग सिर्फ हम जो फ्रीक्वेंट आइटम सेट्स हैं वो जनरेट करते हैं जो कि लेंथ वन की होती हैं मीन्स के सिंगल आइटम सेट्स हम लोग फाइंड uh, करते हैं फ्रीक्वेंट आइटम सेट्स लाइक अगर हमारी स्पोर्ट टू है तो हम लोग वो आइटम सेट्स रखेंगे जिनकी स्पोर्ट काउंट टू से ज़्यादा होगा या टू होगा जो भी जो भी आइटम सेट्स जिनका स्पोर्ट काउंट लेस देन टू होगा हम उनको डिस्कार्ड कर देंगे और वो हमारे फ्रीकुंट आइटम सेट के अंदर नहीं आएंगे और यही काम हम रिकर्सिवली इसी काम को आगे एक्सपेंड करते रहते हैं ग्रो करते रहते हैं ओके तो ये जो रिकर्सिव ग्रोथ हम लोग करते हैं वो तब तक करते रहते हैं जब तक कि हमारा यू नो जो ट्री है वो एम ना हो जाए या उसका कोई जो उसका ब्रांचेज हैं वो सिंगल पाथ हमें ना प्रोवाइड कर रही हूँ 
सो तब तक हम ये काम रिकर्सिवली जो फ्रिक्वेंट पैटर्न ट्री है उसे कंस्ट्रक्ट करते रहते हैं और जब हमारा ट्री एम हो जाए या सिंगल पाथ बन जाए तो हम तब उसकी ग्रोथ को स्टॉप कर देते हैं सो लेट्स लुक एट दिंपल एग्जाम्पल For this transactional database, it has only five transactions. Uh, as you can see, hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and five hundred. And each transaction contains a set of items. Like if we talk about the first transaction ID, which contains items like F. A, C, D, G, I, and M and P as item sets. So we can scan the database once by using FP tree. The first step is we scan the database in order to find the frequent one item sets, like which contains single item or single pattern. So, suppose uh, the minimum support uh, for this case is suppose three. So, we will be able to find the following frequent items like F four, A three, C four, B three, M three, and P also three. This is what this is. Just their spot count. As you can see, F occurs four times in these five transactions, uh, like in first transaction, in second, in third also, and in fifth transactions. So it occurs four times in this transactional database. Similarly, for A three, uh, A. A occurs three times, like in first transaction, second transaction, and last transaction. Similarly, for remaining items, these items are frequent one item sets because for each item, like F, A, C, B, M, and P, their support count is three or greater than three. As we can see, our minimum support is three. So all the items having support greater than or equivalent to three, these are frequent item sets. So we get these item sets as items as frequent items of length one. So then we can sort the frequent items based on its support frequency in uh, you know descending order, like this. Based on this, we can uh, construct a tree by first, uh, you know, construct a header following this order, like this. We construct the header like this, like uh, the item set having the highest spot count. We place this at the first row. Then the item set having the uh, support count less than uh, you know the highest one, second highest, and then similarly we decrease this, uh, place this uh, these item sets in decreasing order or descending order. But you can see here we have two items uh, having the same uh, support count of four, and here we have. Four items having the similar support count of three. So it's uh, uh, your choice to choose the placement order. Like you can place C first or F first. It's your choice. So iska koi algorithm ki working ke upper koi effect nahi padta. So yah apki marzi hai ki ap jaun se bhi item set ko upar rakhna cha rahe hain rakh sakte hain. So if you can see. Here, uh, it's just the representation of these item sets in the 
descending order of their spot count. You can see in the transaction ID of uh, 100, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 items in uh, transaction ID 100. But in this column, we represent only 5 items uh, as F, C, A, M and P. We, uh, we discard I, G and D from uh, the transaction ID 100 similarly for other transactions. This is because I, G and D are not frequent items. So we discard those items from our frequent item sets. And like if we talk about I, so I occurs in transaction ID 100 and then it occurs uh, nowhere. So the support count of I is just one which is below the uh, minimum support so that's why it is discarded so similarly for uh, you can place other transactions or item sets in the transactions in the descending order with the uh, with their descending order of their support count then based on uh, this uh, header table we can construct the FP tree as follows for example if you look at the first transaction which is FCAMP so we construct uh, F C A M and then P with only support count of 1. So if uh, I try to uh, explain, first we start the FP tree with a node having null value. After that, like uh, we are talking about now, uh, now we are talking about our first transaction. So in this transaction we have F, C, A and M, P. So we add F to the null node and its value is 1. Then from F we have to go to C. So we extend this by adding a node C and its value is 1. Then from C to A and A's value is 1 and from A to M the value of M is 1 from M to P and its value is 1 so in this branch P ends up with the minimum with the support of 1 so then we have a second uh, transaction which is F C A B M so First we have F, now the spot or the count of F is 2. So F to C, okay, again the spot of C is again from 1 to 2 on this path. So then we have A, similarly the spot or, or the count of A is 2 along this path. So then we have to add B. So now from A we have to add another node which is B and this part of B is 1 along this path F, C, A and M and then oh sorry A, B and then at the end of this transaction ID we have to add M along this path F, C, A, B and M. So this is 1. Similarly for uh, third transaction we have to go along F and B. So now we have to add or increase the count of F which is 3 and now we have to add another node which is B and its count is 1. So from uh, this uh, null node we can uh, go uh, reach to B 
by going from F to B. Similarly, for fourth transaction, we have to follow C, B, and P. So, along this path, we have only one route, which is F. So, we can not go along this path to get C, B, and P. So, we have to add another node, which is C, and its count is 1 along this path. And then we have to add B, which is this, and its port is or count is 1. Then we have to add P, which is here, and its port is again 1. And then for this last transaction, we have to add F, and its, and its count is 4. Then we have to add C, and its count is updated to 3. Then we have to add A, similarly its count is updated to 3. And then we have to add M, and its already count is 1, and its updated or incremented by 1, and now its count is 2. And then we have to add P, and you can see its uh, count is 1, so it's incremented by 1 and its spot is 2 now. So, so you can see how we can construct the FP tree from the header table or item frequency head table. So, after uh, constructing the FP tree, we uh, have to uh, mine frequent patterns from that, you know, FP tree. So, for this uh, conditional pattern base, we mine single item patterns. So, we construct this FP tree and mine it recursively. For example, for P's, uh, you know, P's conditional pattern base, we will get only uh, C3. The reason is, uh, as you know, FCAM, like uh, FCAM, the spot value is 2, and similarly for other path of P, which is CB, and along this path, its uh, P's spot is 1. As you know, for this FCA a M path F C A M the P's value is 2. So that's why we have written 2 here. So as we can see the F spot is 2 in these two paths. C spot is 3, 2 along this and 1 along this path. So, C's overall spot is 3, A spot is 2, and M spot is 2. As in our example, our minimum spot threshold value is 3. So, in this case, we only get C as frequent item set in the P's conditional database. So, we will get only C with spot of 3. All other items like F, A, and M and B are discarded and discarded because their spot is 2. But for M's pattern base or M's conditional pattern base, you, you people can see we have F, C, A and M. or you know uh, F, C and A. As you can see F, C, A and M again uh, it's for one time and similarly for second time F, C, A and M. This M occurs two times along this same path. So that's why we have written here F, C, A 2 and for the second time uh, or for the third time F, C, A, B and then it occurs one times or its count is one. So we have written F, C, A, B 
with this support value of 1. So in this case, we have uh, F count is, uh, you know, 3. And similarly, we have C support is 3. And similarly, A's support is also 3. So as 2 times occurs in this part and 1 times it occurs in this part. And so the over, overall support is uh, 3 for all these items. While the support of B is 1, so that's why it is discarded. So uh, only keep F, C and A as the frequent item sets for M's conditional pattern base. Similarly, you can do this on and on and then with this you can uh, carry on to transform the prefix paths of B you get the uh, you know uh, following order like for C it's FCA1 F1 and C1 so in this case, uh, so first we look at how these uh, chunks we have written. So like FCA as B occurs along this path, FCA and its count is 1. So that's why we have written here FCA1. And similarly for the second path of B, we have written only F and along this path, B occurs 1 times. So it is 1 and similarly for the other path along this path C and then to B so it occurs one time in this path so in this case we have the you know the frequent uh, uh, item set in the B's conditional uh, pattern base we have only C as the support of C is 3 while for the other items like F occurs only two times and C and A occurs only once Similarly, uh, you can do this for A and you can also do this for C. So, for this uh, conditional pattern base, we mine single item patterns. We construct uh, this FP tree and mine it recursively. For example, P is conditional pattern base. We get C3 as we have discussed earlier and similarly for M conditional pattern base we get FCA3 and similarly for B's conditional pattern base we get phi because sorry in last slide uh, I have made a mistake because I consider in this uh, path we have also could C so sorry for that uh, we have no frequent item set in B's conditional pattern base as uh, C occurs twice, F occurs only uh, twice and A also occurs once. So there is no frequent item sets along this path. But for A conditional pattern base we have FC both are frequent items and C also as a frequent item. Actually, uh, for the single branch, you can uh, dump all the possible combinations there. Uh, sport all three, like F3, C3, and F3, 4, C. C is uh, conditional pattern base. But we just uh, we just uh, look at that in the recursive way, and how we can mine this pattern base. For this pattern base you can see uh, for A's conditional pattern base you will get this uh, you get FC3 like A's we get this which is FC3 as you can see from this conditional pattern base and Similarly for C, this C3, you can get this, which is F3, you can get from this 
conditional pattern ways so you can see that's uh, the same thing so then for uh, this particular a m's conditional pattern base uh, like you can see this a m's conditional frequent pattern base you can uh, mine uh, or you just take this f3 so you get this then uh, you can go and dump all the patterns you know like this uh, for single branch essentially that the same thing you dump all the patterns like for single branch you just uh, dump all the patterns like all the possible combinations there are these uh, frequent items so how can we get these uh, you know frequent item sets we just uh, join the uh, conditional pattern basis with their uh, their you know item like if we want to calculate the m's conditional pattern base we just join their frequent uh, items with their conditional pattern base like fc uh, sorry fm we get its count is 3 similarly for cm its count is 3 similarly for a with its conditional pattern which is whose uh, m so am which is count is again 3 similarly for now we combine these two with m so fcm is 3 fam 3 similarly for cam 3 and then we join all these together with m so we get fcam 3 so these are frequent item sets so in sum uh, summary if we summarize this whole uh, you know uh, the discussion you can uh, like first we just uh, scan the database and uh, collect the or mine the frequent one item sets from the database according to our minimum sort and in the second iteration we sort uh, those frequent item sets or frequent one item sets in their descending order and after that we construct a header table and from the header table we construct the fp tree according to the order of the uh, items in the particular transactions and from the frequent pattern we construct uh, sorry uh, frequent pattern tree we construct conditional pattern basis and then from conditional pattern basis we get these uh, you know single item patterns frequent uh, single item patterns and then we combine these items with their corresponding you know uh, item of the conditional pattern base and finally we will get the frequent item sets and then uh, we have a special case of the uh, frequent pattern tree if we have a single prefix path in the frequent pattern tree uh, frequent pattern tree uh, you actually can partition uh, it into two parts like this uh, like this path you can uh, mine it and then this part you can mine it and then you can just concatenate these two together and to get the uh, pattern results so then uh, we have a special case uh, like uh, what about the tree that cannot fit into the uh, main memory if it can cannot fit into the main memory we can use database pro uh, projections that means we project databases based on the patterns uh, based on single item set okay so that we can construct and mine this tree for each projected database so we can have power projection or partition projection to different methods so the power projection means for this one for this uh, you know the transactional database you will get 
एफ फोर प्रोजेक्टेड डेटा बेस एंड एफ थ्री प्रोजेक्टेड डेटा बेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर द फर्स्ट स्ट्रिंग और फॉर द फर्स्ट ट्रांसक्शन आई डी यू विल सी जी एंड एच सपोज इट्स नॉट फ्रीकुंट एंड वील गेट ऑनली एफ्स आर फ्रीकुंट लाइक एफ वन एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री एंड एफ फोर आर फ्रीकुंट एंड जी एंड एच आर नॉट फ्रीकुंट बिकॉज इट स्पोर्ट इज लेस दैन अ मिनिमम स्पोर्ट थ्रेश वैल्यू इट्स जस्ट स्पोस्ट मैयर लाइक दीज आर फ्रीकुंट पैटर्नस सो यू गेट एफ फोर प्रोजेक्टेड डेटा बेस यू गेट एफ टू एफ थ्री ओके देन फॉर एफ थ्री प्रोजेक्टेड डेटा बेस यू गेट एफ टू दैट्स दी वन सो एवरी वन ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्टेड डेटा बेस इज इनडिपेंडेंट ऑफ दी अदर्स सो यू कैन माइंड दैम इन पैरल बट देन यू कैन ऑल्सो सी यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव पार्टीशन प्रोजेक्शन पार्टीशन प्रोजेक्शन द जनरल फिलोसफी इज फॉर ईच स्ट्रिंग फॉर ईच स्ट्रिंग यू ओनली पुट इन टू वन प्लेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस वन कंटेन्स एफ फोर प्रोजेक्टेड डेटा बेस यू यू ओनली पुट एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री बट यू डू नॉट पुट दिस एफ टू Uh, to the F3 is projected database. Like we cannot put F2 uh, uh, to this F3 projected database. Uh, so when uh, you finish uh, to mine this F4 projected database, then you can do this projection in F3. So you think this one is already to F3 or put this one into F3? Okay. So that's just uh, difference, uh, different choice. choices you know for different partitions or parallel projections it's just different way of implementation you can implement uh, either using parallel projection or partition projections so in parallel projection you can place uh, frequent atoms in different projected databases at the same time but in the partition projections we have to wait for the mining process until uh, an item is in another projection database we cannot place in some other projected database okay so uh, here we have uh, some extensions of the frequent pattern mining method um, for mining closed frequent patterns uh, item sets or max pattern item sets we have close set fp close f max these are uh, the extensions of the f growth method similarly for sequential pattern mining we have prefix span close span and byte and similarly for graph patterns we have g span and close graph and for constraint based mining of frequent patterns we have convertible concentrants and g prune and similarly for computing iceberg data cubes with complex measures we have h3 h cubing and star cubing methods or uh, uh, and for pattern growth based clustering we have ma m a p l e maple and for pattern growth based classification we have mining frequent and discriminative patterns so these extensions of the frequent uh, growth mining or fp growth mining uh, methodology we will discuss these uh, some of these like close set prefix span close span and some others in our upcoming lectures uh, when we discuss on the applications of frequent pattern mining in uh, sequential patterns in mining graph patterns and some others so and uh, these extensions of the apriori uh, oh sorry of the fp growth algorithm we will discuss in our subsequent lectures so here uh, i have finalized some 
recommended readings these are all classical papers you know a priori mining uh, you also know the further improvements of a priori and here we have some vertical methods fp growth closet plus so uh, finally uh, there is an interesting survey article called uh, frequent pattern mining algorithm which contain many more algorithms covered in this lecture if you are interested in go ahead and read in this chapter so uh, that's it for today's lecture so thank you